Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Today I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of my my little office area I've created in my apartment. And I just want to show people like what you can do if you have limited space. So me and my two boys, we live in a two bedroom um, townhouse. I think it's about 11 to 1200 square foot. And a lot of that is stairs because, you know, we have a stairway. So I didn't plan on living here very long. But what I did was I would have to stage all my product around the perimeter of my room in my living room in my kitchen. And I would just have hundreds of items, you know, stored everywhere. And it made it really hard to live and it was really hard to walk through. So when I decided to stay here for a few more years, because my long term goal is to buy a house for me and my two boys when I'm eligible. Because when you're self-employed, you have to have three years tax returns, my, my guy told me. So I have another uh, two years, you know, less than two years left to go before I can buy a house. So living here is cheap. My rent's like twelve hundred bucks. You know, it came with a fridge, came with a washer and dryer for my clothes. So I've just decided to stay here because I live in a really good, real quiet, safe community, which is very rare where I live. Violence is is pretty bad here. We have like the worst homicide rate in California my county does so where I live is really safe you know so I decided to stay here till I could buy a house so without further blabbing for me I'm going to show you guys my office area all right so now I'm going to show you my office area so first I have my first little section of Funko Pops that I collect I like pops so I have a little section right there that I get to enjoy while I'm working so here's my, my little lamp that I use to get light for when I make videos. So clearly this is where I keep my computer and everything. So I've got my scanner here. So I just scan product and put it back on my shelf. You know, my laptop and underneath I have a fan to keep it cool because I'm on my laptop like 10 hours a day. I have my little camera right here that I make videos with. Um, a four-way splitter. Um, Sharpie actually belongs up here, but I got my my backup uh, one by two by eight labels for Amazon WD forty. This is what I use to remove labels from products. So like DD's discount uses like some sort of a magic super glue. So what you do is you spray the WD forty on the label and let it soak for a minute, and then you get like a little label printer. Or I mean a label peeler like this. And you just scrape the label off. It's actually really easy to do. So now I have more Funko Pops. And they're really cool. I like them. So, yeah, that's my little pop collection that I have in my workspace. So this is my little storage area. I have my tape measure to measure boxes. I have Sharpies. And I have scissors to cut boxes if I need to. So what I do with the Sharpies is on the, the part of the box that folds, I will write the weight and uh, which box number. Because I usually ship a lot of stuff to Rialto, and my shipments are like six or seven boxes for one shipment. So I'll write like box one, 46 pounds, or whatever it is. And then this is where I keep coupons, right here. So this is these are my personal pops. Don't try to sell these on Amazon. You won't make any money. But um, so what I do is for this, like if I had like four of these, I would maybe stack it like this and I'd have a row and I would maybe stack on top or something like this. So if I was to actually be shipping this, I'd probably ship it like that or to store it like that to save space. And then I would just have multiples of them right here on my shelf. So you can see the rest of it's empty because I just sent everything out yesterday. So here's my two Dymo label printers. So I have the 4XL, which I use for shipping. This one you can use for shipping and Amazon barcodes if you want. Um, I did for a long time, but I just got to the point where I wanted to save time. And every once in a while I would accidentally like print up the wrong labels and I was wasting a lot of labels. So I decided just to simplify it. And you get both. Um, don't mind the Pokemon cards. My kids are good. They get to pick a Pokemon card. So I've got my printer if I ever do MF. 
And then those pops are some I'm like, trying to sell on like Facebook or something. They have like minor box damage I bought online. So I'm not shipping those into Amazon because I make sure everything's in perfect condition when I ship it to Amazon. And then just my little tape dispenser. And this is my best friend. This is my little portable speaker. I listen to that thing about six or eight hours every single day. So it's like the best $20 I've ever spent. And then here is my, uh, my scale. So I just pull the scale out like this because most of my boxes are pretty big. So that's my scale. And I'll put boxes here and then I'll have my product on the shelf and I'll just you know move it over here into the box. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I do is I put the box on there on the scale so that way I can see the weight as I'm filling up the box. And it kind of helps me gauge which products to put in there. Because <clears throat> I sell a lot of grocery. And grocery is fairly heavy. So I put you know the heavy stuff in. And then whenever the box starts getting full, I'll grab lighter stuff and fill it in. So I try to maximize my space the best I can. And it saves me so much time and so much on my back. Because before, I bought that like six months ago. I was operating with this little tiny scale, which I bought for when I used to sell on Amazon, or I mean on eBay, but you can see it's really hard to put a large size box on here that's like, say, um, 18 by 18, and it was really difficult to operate. So I was able to buy that scale for $60, and this is a great little one if you're doing like small boxes and little things. It's a really good scale, it just, I outgrew it. So, here's a, just a real quick look of my, my um, office here. So, it doesn't take up a lot of room. The racking I bought at Ikea, I think for, because I bought a combo set with the desk and the one shelf. And then I bought the second shelf separate. And I think all of that delivered to me was like $300 from Ikea. So... I'll put any links in the description um, if you're interested in picking up any of this stuff. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe it gave you guys some ideas and inspired you on how to do your, uh, your Amazon setup. Thanks for watching.